Hello, my name is Sushima and I wanted to show you um, our garden. We have a small tiny plot of uh, land here that is absolutely filled with the most beautiful vegetables. It's part of a larger garden which is filled with flowers, there's bees, um, and what I, what I wanted to show you is the massive tomato plant that's grown here. There's a massive datura, there's a sunflower, there's tomatillos, tomatillos on steroids. Uh, there is um, purslane here. If you can see, this is purslane, this is thyme, but this is thyme with buzzing bees with a few petunias growing here. And this is our very first uh, watermelon. Uh, that came out a couple of weeks ago and is again growing really really fast so I am not that much of a gardener uh, how did this plot come to be so rich in flowers fruits vegetables uh, plants and succulents well we had three compost bins here we had three compost bins in this house two in that far corner and one in that corner over there and what I did when we moved was we emptied all the compost into this little area and then I covered it up with mulch and then I put in some succulents here so this is the succulents some flowers some more succulents here uh, but what happened here is a miracle which is all the seeds that we had consumed, all the organic seeds that we had consumed and thrown into our compost basically grew out of this heap of compost. And they are incredibly, these plants are incredibly beautiful, incredibly uh, flourishing. You see there is no pests, there's no rust. Uh, they have all grown out of the compost. The soil is moist. The soil is very moist and very damp underneath this and it gets watered twice a week. So there's not much watering going on, but we're going to get a bumper harvest of watermelon. We're going to get a bumper harvest of tomatillos. We are going to get a bumper harvest of um, zucchinis, my favorite thing. And I suspect that is cucumbers. And these are all seeds that we have consumed. So this is a garden that fulfills all our eating needs and I posed it to you as a possible solution to deciding what to plant. What is better to plant than something that you've eaten in the last season, something that was organic and something that got composted in here and grew of its own volition. So this is our little garden. It's going to give us a massive yield of fruits and vegetables. Uh, I don't know what you'd call watermelon a fruit, I suppose, and tomatillos are a fruit too. Uh, we're going to have uh, tomatoes, little baby girls over here. We are going to have tomatillos here, and they've already started producing. And on the other side, we have cooking and eating cooking tomatoes. So, so this, in short, is a lazy man's permaculture garden, which consists of just collecting a whole bunch of kitchen waste never letting nitrogenous matter leave your backyard because it's such high quality organic matter and you just keep chopping and dropping it back into your lawn for a beautiful beautiful edible garden interspersed with flowers roses succulents you know garlic chives and other shade and sun loving plants so i just wanted to take you on a tour of the garden. It's at its apex right now. Um, those are the watermelons, the tomatillos, the sunflower. All of these have grown out of the compost by themselves without any additional help from me whatsoever. Uh, that's the tomatillo. That started on its own as well. And these are the salvias. There's a jasmine there. There's a lot of mint tea for good mint tea. That's oregano, those purple blossoms are oregano. This is um, a bunch of succulents, some marigolds, a nice rose bush, 
a lemon tree that's now starting to produce prolifically. And as you walk through here, there's fuchsias here. There's other plants. There's a, a Meyer lemon tree here, more flowers. And here's a datura. I'm under the shade of a beautiful datura that becomes very, very fragrant at night. At about five o'clock, the fragrance becomes really intense. And it's like being under a canopy of flowers that are decorating um, the roof of your roof of your garden. There's uh, more fuchsia here. Um, there's splashes of color and ferns and columbines. Uh, there's tight and tidy. This tight and tidy works, grows really, really well. All you gotta do is deadhead it from time to time. We're getting a bumper crop of persimmon this year. So as you can see in this little tiny garden of ours, we've managed to grow a lot of edible um, and ornamental plants, flowers that the bees absolutely love. This is a place for two hummingbirds and we are going to get all sorts of wonderful vegetables here. And so that is the power. That is the steroidal power of good compost. You have sturdy, strong plants that don't require much watering, uh, that produce like crazy, um, and that you don't have to pay much attention to. Thank you and have a great day.